So y'all know what's up. It's RC Poetic Soul. And of course it's vlog time. It's vlog time. It's vlog time. So what do we have here? Two iconic, wonderful, well talented, educated, self-educated black men that are intelligent that were leaders in their community that were taken from us far too soon that were everything a lot of us should train to be explore to be and wish to be some put it this way two people that, that stood up and took a stand changed the way things are done it's a shame they long, no longer with us but they black heroes African American heroes and I salute them and so, <clears throat> with that being said, I would like to say, hello everyone, what's going on out there? <clears throat> Please subscribe to my channel. I will be elated, thankful, and very appreciative if you did. And as I come before you guys today, as I think about that great picture where, you know, they, they, were, in, they were in great spirits too, you know, um, great, great spirits at that time. And, you know, I stand before you guys and, and I think about just my story and how I shouldn't be on YouTube and how I probably shouldn't have made it even in life. But I'm here and um, I'm staying, I'm sitting before you guys and I'm just, I'm just thankful um, for everything. It's nothing that any person did for me. It's more or less my perseverance. You know, my uh, ability to push on, to keep striving. I don't know what your faith is like or if you even have it. You know, I, I'm not the judge of no one. You know, I go through this life as I see fit. Learning and living and growing and evolving. And trying to become a better person. And um, it's a whole lot of negativity. It's a whole lot of criticism. It's a whole lot of people who want to pull us down. It's a lot drama you can get yourself into but you know what I actually would say that if you guys just fly right do something good do one good thing a day it's possible you know it's unfortunate that we don't have iconic figures out here but I see people on YouTube social media uh, Facebook platforms who use it for the betterment of society I commend them I know who they are. In future videos, I will reference them, reference them. But for now, I just know that there are some people doing good out here. And that means a lot to me to see that people are still doing good. Because you know what? Malcolm did not fight for where we are today. Malcolm did not fight for where we are. Martin Luther King did not have a dream of the insanity that's going on today. Of the tragedy, of the racism, of the political system, of... You know, just everything. It's not what he drank. And so, <clears throat> with me saying that, I would like to parlay this into a little bit of who I really am. Because there, there have been times in my life in which I just didn't want to pay homage to anybody. I didn't want to have respect for anyone. You know, I just wanted to be out there bad. I just wanted to do my thing. I just wanted to, like, you know, act a fool according to my own way you know I didn't I didn't want to listen to anybody I thought I knew every damn thing you know and I, I know I had a short video about who I am but who am I really you know who, who am I and, and what I am is a deep thinker you know a deep spirited person a person driven and dedicate, dedicated dedicated to use words to expand to evolve I love writing it's my passion you know, it's creativity, it's originality. You know, I like to draw. I, I definitely enjoy, as I said, 1,000, 2,000 percent writing. I'm a person that loves to gain knowledge, I like watching all kinds of documentaries. And so, as I embark upon, see, the reason why I have to say I embark is because it took a long time for me to realize my worth and what I could do. 
and how I could encourage others and how I could look at myself and be the driving, driving force behind myself. You know, I always look to someone else to try to pick me up. It's about me. If I can't pick me up, no one can not pick me up. So I got to be willing to fight. Even to my believers out there, you got to take one, two steps towards God before he takes six steps towards you. So we all got a reason to fight and live, and we got to find that motivation. We got to stay motivated because ain't nothing waiting except for idle time, and idle time leads to so much trouble you can't believe your own eyes. And so I'm thankful for martyrs like MLK, like Malcolm X, because... You know, they showed me, they lay, a, they lay a blueprint before a lot of us African Americans out here as, as how to go about being an African American male with something to stand on. Now, the unfortunate part is, um, I think a lot of us told the line, especially um, celebrities, they told that line um, between how much they willing to do for communities, how much they willing to do for the youth, how much they willing to, how many, you know, as far as how far they willing to go to reach out there, because we've seen MLK get active, you know, reaching millions, some, you know, more than that, it's what he said, it's the message he conveyed, and some people don't want to go all the way, because they don't want to jeopardize their own livelihood, you know, their own life, and I get that, but at the same time, it's a responsibility, you know, if you can reach, reach more people, then why don't you do it? And you know what, I, I, I don't know sometimes where I'm going, but I do know where I came from, and I do know what I'm not going to end up at. And so, you know, this is a process for me. Every day is an evolution process. I don't want to wake up and be doing the same stuff. So I'm fighting, guys. I'm fighting to be stronger, to be a better human being, to, you know, just to be a beacon of light for someone who so desperately needs it. But I knew that I could not be that if I didn't pick myself up. Um, I come from a home of uh, abuse and a whole lot of stuff I've seen. But I'm just, I'm just grateful to be alive. And I'll get into that a little by little. I ain't going to spring all that on one time, one video. But I'm, uh, I appreciate just um, being around, being alive. God giving me second chances, third chances, fourth chances. And... Um, you know, I've been reading and watching a lot of documentary on MLK and here and there, watching things on Malcolm X. And I'm just grateful um, that they came down the pipeline because um, the school system won't teach you everything you need to know about our leaders, you know, the people that stood up for us. And so it's definitely worth checking out, looking into documentaries, looking into their books, you know. So autobiographies and everything like that. So, yeah, guys, this is RC Poetic Soul. Uh, I'm not going to stick around too much too much uh, longer with this video, but I did want to put that uh, photo out there, and I did want to talk to you guys a little bit about experiences and about how I try to stay motivated to continue to push on. So, with that being said, thank you guys for watching the channel. Please subscribe. Y'all have a good night.